I'm David Wong and welcome to my channel. I'm starting a new series on teaching you how to play piano by ear. Today I'm going to show you my process of what I do when I hear a song that I never heard of and then start to play it on the piano without any music. So I'm going to start with this new popular song that just came out called Promise by BTS. And I only heard this about two times. Um, so I'm going to show you what I do uh, when I hear the song and then start to decipher it and um, convert it into piano. So first what I do is I listen to the song to figure out the basics of what the structure of the song is and what key it is in and what time signature it is in. So let's just listen to it. So first, the simple part is what key is it in? What key is it in? Okay. How do you know what key is it in? Well, we've got to figure out what chords are playing and what notes are being played. So the first note, we're just going to, if you don't know any piano, uh, you can just randomly hit something on the piano and see if that hits the pitch. So the first pitch is, right? So you're singing it out. Da, da. So try to find where on the piano that is, okay? So it's higher than that, right? So I gotta go higher. That's uh, getting closer, but not quite enough. So I'm gonna go to the next one. Da, da. So yeah, that actually sounds like the note. So I think that is the note that we start, start on. So we go, it goes one note and it goes in higher by one note. So let me play that again and see if that's correct. Da, da. Good, so it sounds like a match. So now we figured out that that is the note to start in. So the first two notes are, which are A, B. So does that sound like it? How about B major? Ba, ba. No, that doesn't sound like it. How about this one, E minor? Da, da. Uh, maybe. How about E major? No, that doesn't sound like it. That sounds like it. So you got G major, maybe, B minor, B minor. Those sound kind of close to it. How about C major 7? No, that doesn't sound like it. How about B7? Nope. How about B minor 7? Nope, not really. E minor 7? That sounds close. How about E major 7? Nope, that doesn't sound like it. So there's four chords that are possible. Um, with this uh, first chord and the first note in this uh, in this song, so let's see which one's the closest. Let's listen to it again. So let's play that again. Or. No, B minor doesn't actually sound very close to it, so I'm going to cross that out. So these are going to be e, G major or E minor. Okay. Okay. So an easy way to figure out which one it is, is you want to ask, does it sound happy or does it sound sad? First chord. Does it sound happy or does it sound sad? Okay, does it sound happy or does it sound sad? So most people would say that it sounds happier than sad. So I'm guessing that this is G major. Okay, and if you actually get the music, it's gonna be G major seven. Okay, because if you listen to the guitar, um, they have this on top. Listen to it again. Right? So that's why it's being played with the guitar. And now we know that G is the chord. So actually what this first chord is, is G major 7. Okay? So we play guitar. And then the melody is. 
So you add them together, it's going to be... Okay, so that sounds like what's happening in the first bar there. Okay, so we know now that the first chord is G major 7. So what I would do is I would go and write out a um, basic chart. Four bars like this. And then in the first bar, I'm going to write G major 7. Okay, and then I'm going to write the notes, what are the notes, A, B, okay, I'm not going to worry about the rhythm because I memorize the rhythm in my head, so A, B are the notes. Okay, now we have the first um, chord, let's figure out the rest of the melody. Okay, so that first part it goes, uh, okay, so we're gonna play it out, it's gonna be, oops, uh, so um, if you don't know how to figure out, just um, think about what scale we're in. Because we're playing G major 7th, then the scale of G major 7th have these notes. It has G, A, B, C, D, E, and um, F sharp, and G. Okay? So those are the notes that you can use when we're playing the melody. So we can write that somewhere. So if it's G major 7th, G, ma G major 7, the notes that we can use are um, basically G, A, B, C, D, and then E, and then uh, F sharp, and G. Okay, so I'm going to use those notes. Okay, and then figure out what notes are being played when, that, uh, when, when the melody comes. So it goes... Duh, duh. Du, 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 du. So I know I know the first two, and then do is lower. So I gotta go lower than the next one. No, that's not low enough. That's not low enough. Okay, that's low enough. And then it goes from here. It goes. Du, 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 du. So it sounds like just the regular scale. Du, 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 du. That's do re mi. So I'm just gonna go because that's do re mi, and it goes back to uh, re. Right. So that's how I figure it out. I want to know what the uh, relative position of the note is, whether it's going up or down, uh, what the uh, interval is, because if it's just if it's a short interval, then it's probably close together. If it's, if it's a longer, bigger interval, that means it's farther apart. So you can just test out and see which note. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Right? Try to find the interval between the notes to find the proper one. In this case, it's so I know I'm going to a D. Okay, so now that I know what the uh, melody is, okay, that's the melody, so I'm gonna write it in. So I did, then, do, do, do. Now, if you're good with uh, writing it on a staff and with all the notes on different uh, lines then that's good, but for me, it's easier for me to write like this. I don't need staff paper. And I don't need to write the rhythms because it gets complicated to get it right. Yeah, it's complicated to write rhythms, especially for pop songs and the phrasing is very difficult. So I'll just remember as the rhythm on my head and then I'll just write what the notes are and then I'll remember what to play when I see that. All right, so now we've figured out the first part. Let's figure out what the chords and the melody is for the second part. So you know the first one is G, and it goes da da da. If you listen to the guitar, that's what's happening. It goes da 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 da. So since I know it's going down, it goes da da da, and then it goes da da da. Then my intuition tells me that it's actually going down also in the bass. It goes. Okay. 
and that's exactly exactly what it is. It just went from G major seven to F sharp minor seven, and then what's the next one? Let's. Um, so it goes down again. So actually, that is a F major step. So let's play the bass. So that's the bass, and then we add the melody. So see, I'm figuring it out as it goes. So let's do it all one more time. Okay, so now you get used to um, playing the the chords along with the rhythm along with the melody so you have the phrasing correct and you have the timing of the notes correct once you practice that and get good at that the next step is to add the chords together with the bass so what you can do is play the chords like this so G major 7 and then F minor 7 and then F major 7 and then E minor 7 and then once again G major 7 it's F minor 7 and then F major 7 and then E, ma e minor 7 okay so um, what you can do is just play the chord on the in the left hand like that while you play the melody. So we can do this. So that's the basic. Now you have the chords with the melody. But for some reason, it doesn't really sound that good because the chords are really, um, really uh, muddled up in the, in the bottom. There's too many notes on the bottom. So what we want to do is spread out the chord. Instead of playing it clustered like that, we want to spread it out. And usually what I like to do is play the, only the root, the fifth, and the third. Okay, or the, if you can't reach that far, just the root, the fifth, and then the root again. So if you convert it to that, we can, it will just be like this. And then, and then F major 7. Or you can play F major 7. And you can play E minor 7. Or, okay, so you spread it out, it won't sound so muddled up in the bottom. So let's try doing that with the melody. I'm changing rhythm in the bass too, so it's not just a. Uh, it's going right. So I'm matching the rhythm with the with the melody. So it'll sound something like this.
that sounds a little bit better. I need to practice and I'll get sound even better. Now, next step after that, you got some rhythm happening in the bass. It's kind of like a bass line. And then you have uh, the melody. Now what you want to do is fill in the melody with some chords. So now you want to play the chords on the right hand and play the bass on the left hand. So let's practice first by just playing the bass. That's one note, so keep it simple so you can focus on the right hand. Okay. Um, so let's play the chords on the right hand. It's going to be like something like this. G major 7, um, F sharp minor 7, F major 7, and then uh, E minor 7, E minor, uh, e minor 11, get back to e, uh, G major 7, F minor 7, F major 7, E minor 7, E minor 11, okay? So that's what you're going to play in the right hand. Left hand, you just play a single note for now. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4. add some rhythm to it. You can add some variations to the chord and then I can add the bass line. So that's what you can do. So now you play some chords and now you got some bass line. Now you want to do is add the um, melody together with the chords and with the bass line. So it should sound something like this. Sometimes I'm playing just the chord to fill in the gaps. Sometimes I'm playing just the melody. And sometimes I'm playing the melody with the chord itself. So that just takes practice and um, you can play uh, by playing everything separately, right? So just start beginning by just playing the melody. Okay. So now see where you can add in the chord. And the best place to add in the chord is on the first beat of the bar. So you go. So you add in the chord there. And then add in one here. Right? So you have one chord per bar. So I didn't add a chord there because it's too many notes. So I go, so I go to the next one. There's a chord there. So I add one in there. So this one is actually a E minor 11 chord. Okay, E minor 11, that's right. E minor 11. Okay, so, um, so if you practice more, then you can uh, add more interesting rhythms and you can add more interesting lines and then 
uh, add more expression in your phrasing. For example, you can go. So there's phrasing, there's some notes are short, some notes are longer, uh, there's a crescendos and, and basically getting louder, getting softer. Um, you want to sound like you're singing it, but with the piano, okay? That's what you want to do. So that's and the then, first part, and you just repeat the process for the rest of the song, and then slowly, eventually, you're gonna get the whole song, and we'll get to that in the next video. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more about how to play piano by ear without any music, and how to play any song, impress your friends, and have fun, and to uh, play all the music that is popular that you want to play on the piano, then subscribe, like, and comment, and share and ask any questions that you want on this uh, video in the comment sections, and we'll see you in the next lesson.